Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Do you still remember my video about not updating to the previous version of Android 8.1? But now there's a version 2 and it is really stable. It was released on the Christmas Eve and there are 4 features that I think it is worth to update. So let's look at them one by one. By enabling virtual internal storage, we can allocate as much memory as we want from the SD card as internal storage. And this means we can have more Android games. As all the saves are on our SD cards now, we don't have to be afraid of the sudden death of Retro Pocket 2. If you are interested in this feature, I suggest you to enable it before installing anything because it will wipe out all the apps installed it anyway. You can simply go to the toolbox to enable it and I'll put down the link to the tutorial from Spin Retro in case you need it. Including tip 1, this tip 2 here is also different from what it is written on the instruction of installation. However, I see no reason of installing all these stock apps onto our Retro Pocket 2 because not all of them are necessary. For example, there is a file manager already, so we don't really need the Mixplorer. And there is a better version of Mupin in my opinion, so I'll put down the link in the description box. You need the Dreamcast BIOS in order to make uh, Flycast and Recast to work, so remember to copy the ROMs folder. Tip 4 is really important. I don't know if that is just me, but it happens. My retro art crashed like this and it was unplayable. So my suggestion is you can either go to update the assets and other components or you can simply download the latest version from Google Play. The latest versions of these three apps works really good on 8.1 so you can just go and download it. If you have been using Steam Link, you'll probably be frustrated because there is no full screen. But Retro Game Corpse was able to get this in one of his games. He got it right after his update, but I didn't. So I spent some time to figure that out. By changing the resolution of your desktop to the size here, you can have 90% of your games run in full screen. No matter you're enabling the virtual internal storage or not, now you're able to access your internal storage and external storage once you have plugged your Retro Pocket 2 to your PC. So this is a good news for those who hate to take out your SD card. If you have seen other YouTubers talking about 8.1, you can see they probably talk about the indicator or the mouse moves very fast, but this is not just it. With this update, we can finally use the digital stick, which is the right stick to scroll around things. And this is not just in the menu, but we can also use it in deck. And the whole feeling of this digital stick, which is the right stick, is very, very smooth and it is not as laggy as it used to be in Android 6.1, so I really like it. You may probably think, okay, scrolling is not my thing, I don't care about this. But there's one more feature that is updated and you may want to use it. If you have been following this channel for months, you may know that I kind of find out how to map the keys with keyboard and mouse. But now with 8.1, you don't have to use your mouse and keyboard anymore. You can simply map your keys in Autobus Key Mapper by switching between indicator mode and gamepad mode. In Android 6.1, when we get to this tab, it always crash or we just can't map it. But here, it is a lot easier and stabler.
The last feature is a faster Android OS and it is obvious when we turn on our device. When I was using the Android 6.1, I had to spend a whole minute to boot up my device with using um, single app launcher. But uh, with using Android 8.1 here, it just take about um, 25 seconds. So it is 50% less than the time it used to be. So I, I really like the way it works. So going to the final section, this is just my personal experience and views. So I put it in others because I don't want to make it official as the feature of those updated. But I guess like many of you will be interested or curious about how much setting exactly you will have to do after updating to Android 8.1. So just to be clear, I have copied all the files from my internal storage of my 6.1 RetroPocket 2 to my computer and also all the files from my external SD card. So once I have updated it, I return all the files from my PC to my SD card for both internal and external. But even though I have copied all the files back to my internal virtual internal storage, I still have to do the settings that I'm showing you now. For Drastic, my boy and my old boy, it didn't take me much time to set it up. But for Dick, it took me forever because my NDS box covers were not showing up. And I can't even import them, so I had to manually add them like 200 times. But other than the trouble of setting up deck, I strongly recommend you to update it. And I want to say thank you to the Retro team for this wonderful update. So that's it for this video. If you find it useful, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel for support. Bye!